Hello, everybody. This is Rich Outfield. I'm Big Anklevich. And welcome to... Get Your Goat. Things That Got My Goat. Annie, Get Your Goat. I, I, I'm not sure what we're going to call this. This is our subcast of the podcast. Ooh. Our blog cast. What, what are we calling it? Full cast? Wait, that's taken. Dang. F-O-O-L cast. <laughs> Full cast. There you go. It's pretty dang funny. If I, oh, wait. No, it's not. But yeah, we just basically get together and spend a couple minutes talking about something that really pissed us off or didn't. And uh, this week, uh, what got my goat? Lady Gaga. Oh, dear. Good night, folks. Thank you for listening to the Dune Steve Audio no, Fiction no, I Magazine. Just, uh, we were talking about Taylor Swift last time. And well, whether you like her music or don't, she just seems like a, a pure, innocent, decent person. And Lady Gaga, to me, seems so artificial and creepy and just <laughs> so it, – it's like Madonna at her most deviant, circa like 1993, when it's like, look at me. I'm doing it with a guy in a monkey suit. And you know, it's just like, hey, I'm the filthiest thing you've ever seen. And each one of these lady, I, I never had seen a Lady Gaga video before just really recently – and there are things that Marilyn Manson would have had in the split second before he died of autoerotic asphyxiation. These videos are just it's <laughs> so gross and super overproduced and, you know, costing who knows how much money and it has no substance and it has nothing to do with the song. And, and I understand that videos used to be a big deal and they would be like mini movies and remember how big a deal MTV was back in the Michael Jackson days. But these are just... They, they're designed to ruin the song <laughs> and to make people upset or to shock. Maybe that's what all it is. It's just to shock and offend and get people talking. It's like, oh my gosh, did you see that new Lady Gaga video? And she's like, she literally turned inside out and she ate a cheeseburger with her vagina. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, apparently you missed that one. <laughs> uh, hey, did you something. really say that? Oh, hey, th announcer man, what really pisses you off? How about that dollhouse? You upset about that? That it's been a while. Okay. Sorry, but no, I'm, I'm just not. an announcer. No, clearly that's that's fine. See, the other day I was babysitting my sister's kid. He's two, and I love to do stuff with this kid. And so I just threw him in the back seat of the car or car seat. What is that? What they call it? Car seat. What's the difference the between a booster seat and a car seat? They're not like full on strap you down kind of things like a car seat is. They're just. To get you to the right height for the seatbelt to come across your chest instead of across your neck. That's the difference. Okay. If he's two, he was probably still in a car seat of some sort, I would guess. Okay. Uh, no, I, I put him in the car seat. And we were driving around, and uh, I was going through radio stations, and just for a second, it stopped on the dance station, and that Lady Gaga paparazzi song was playing. And, of course, I, I hit skip, and it went on to the next. But it had been on long enough for the two-year-old to suddenly start singing the paparazzi thing. And I was just like, wow, that's odd. Okay, I'll go back. And I went back to that station and listened through the rest of the song. And he was singing along. And of course, the only word he knew was paparazzi. But since she says it a million times, it's fine. And you can't understand what else she's saying. Anyhow, I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. And, and, and for a moment... I liked the paparazzi song. You know, I thought, well, uh -huh. it's not as terrible. I mean, good Lord, she has some awful songs. The one where she goes, <laughs> la, 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 while she's going down the stairs. That's got to be what people in hell hear all the time. <laughs> but for a minute there, I thought, okay, this is all right. And the little boy likes it. So it endeared me to the song. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, I saw a bunch of her videos. And this was one of them. And this paparazzi thing was so gross and so wrong. And see, I, at first I thought it was supposed to be some kind of indictment against paparazzi because everybody hates the paparazzi, right? Don't I, mean, I think that's kind of the general. They're, they're the more bottom than, feeders of the entertainment business. They're they worse than the even news reporters. They're, they're even more hated than them. But they're buckets of crap. With yes. straws in them, the twisty straws, yes. and, and which is gross. Yeah, yes. but this song w was sort of a love song to paparazzi of "Oh look at me, take my picture, I love you, paparazzi" kind of thing, and I couldn't tell if she was being ironic. Thanks, Alanis Morissette, or if she actually kind of had a thing with paparazzi of "Oh hey, look, take my picture, make me feel special." 
there, there might have been some meta thing going on, or maybe it, those songs aren't meant to be examined and the lyrics, you oh, know, scrutinized. Up. I mean, like those terrible, godless Kesha songs. <laughs> uh, there's nothing to those songs except for shrieking. Maybe the, the Lady Gaga things are like that too, but as I was telling you before, She's like got a Juilliard education and she's proficient in a bunch of instruments and actually knows how to play the piano and, and write music and all this stuff. So I'm just surprised that she's making all this crap, this over-modulated, overproduced, meaningless crap. Million dollar earning crap. Right. Oh, good. But never mind. I realize why she's doing it. <laughs> there you Thank go. you. Uh, Ethan, get your goat this week? A coyote got my goat. Man. Ate it completely. There was nothing but bones picked clean. Now you... It was probably a pack of coyotes, to tell you the truth. You live right here on the edge of nowhere. I do. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No, just the edge. Not in the middle yet. And, uh... Gotta go a little further west. Sometimes we could hear... I haven't heard a coyote in a long time. Yeah, they, we used you to hear, hear them more in the winter, it seems. Oh, Okay. They must summer somewhere else. But yeah, we do hear them a lot. Are you suggesting that coyotes migrate? That would require some actual knowledge of things. Have we'll, you we'll ask Liz Mirzievsky because she's, I think, a teacher. She knows breeds those kind of things. monarch butterflies for combat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they have these butterfly fights underneath the gymnasium of the local high school. She's breeding them to join into Norm Sherman's... Uh, oh, de celebrity death. What do they call it? Celebrity Death Beast Match? Beast Celebrity Beast Match? Transformers Beast Wars? Beast Celebrity Death Match? No, there's no celebrity in the title. Mega Beast mega Death Match? Super Mega Death Beast... Super Mega Beast Death Match. Hyper Monkey Super Team. Super Robot Monkey Team. <laughs> Good night, folks. I'm sorry, we've completely wasted your time, which was our intent in doing this. It's 3.11 in the morning, and I will not let Big go to sleep because we've recorded nothing today. But did you actually have a beef about the coyotes? Do you ever see the coyotes? I don't. I think I may have seen one once, like driving down the road late at night. Got into my headlights, but no, I don't have a beef with coyotes. Although I think we left our garbage can lid open once. Or no, 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 that's what it was. Our garbage can was full, and so we didn't have space to put all our garbage into the garbage can. So we just set the bag next to the garbage can. And I think there may have been some spoiled meat that we had thrown out. And uh, we came out the next day, and that garbage bag had been ripped to shreds. And that garbage was spread all over our backyard, the street, all over the driveway. It was really uh, pretty ugly. We blamed it on the coyotes because, you know, they're good scapegoats. But it was actually just our neighbors. I, I knew you had a tax return in there, and I... <laughs> oh, I see. They were trying to get that social security number of yours. I no. did. So do you have any beefs you want to share? Not really. I don't know. I don't have enough beef. Oh, not beefs. How do we get into beefs? The oh, rise Goats. Me. Goat. Gets, gets my goat. Goat busters. Who are you going to call? The goat two guy. Ooh, I like that. No, I don't. Very tired. Sleepy. Welcome to the final ever episode of <laughs> That Really Pisses Me Off. Got my goat. That goat really... Girl, you really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you have nothing you wanted to share on this? There, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about, but I've got to let you talk. Okay. Well, let me think of a goat getting uh, situation. This, this I guess, kind of goes along with the one that I did last time, just complaining. I guess that wasn't quite what I was complaining about. You were complaining about the people that didn't put the role on the thing, and I was complaining Plus, about people who attribute that automatically to men. They had um, crapped in the sink, and I hadn't mentioned that. So. <laughs> okay, I guess that is goat-worthy. By the way, you've got a button undone on your shirt, and you're just fully flashing your gut at me you, you need to do that back up it's all for you damien <laughs> anyways I'm bursting the seams of this shirt <laughs> i thought i could continue wearing a medium <laughs> what was i thinking yeah so I, I came home and the uh kids had been watching a movie and then when the movie was done they took the movie out of the player and they put the disc on top of the case that it goes into 
They didn't put it in the case. It's not like they couldn't find the case to put it in, so they had to just set it on the counter there or whatever. They found the case that it goes in. They set it on top of the case and left it there to get scratched. Look what you did, you little jerk! This, I don't know why, but that just absolutely drives me insane. We have perhaps a hundred movies in our collection, and they all get treated this way, and each one of them probably cost 15 bucks or so to begin with, and we're steadily throwing it down the drain. It's not like those are cassette tapes that you and I grew up with, where you could listen to the tape, and then you pull it out of the player, and you toss it on the floorboard of the passenger side, and you grab another one and stick it in. And It's not going to get hurt. It's not going to get scratched. I guess there is the possibility that somebody could yank the tape out and twist it all up or break it or something, but it's pretty well housed in there, so that's not going to happen. But there's nothing but the case that's going to protect the DVD. And so very soon, this movie's going to just skip like crazy. You're going to watch it for an hour and a half. And then it's going to stop working. And then it's going to stop working 10 minutes before it's over, which happens all the time to me because no one bothers to take care of the friggin' disc. That got my goat. We'll just say that. No, that's exactly what the point of this is. It's not to entertain the listener. It's for us to get something off our chest. Like you said that somebody watched Iron Man at your house today. Right. And now the disc is gone. The case is right there, (laughs) empty, but the disc is gone. And the kids, so I don't know where it went. Yeah, I, I wonder where it is gone. I guess we'll maybe eventually find it. Maybe it's under the piano or under the couch, and we we'll, won't find it until we rearrange the furniture. But it's too bad, because I like that movie. Yeah, it's so weird, and there's the case right there. <laughs> I can understand losing the case, so you're like, oh, shoot, what are we going to do with the disc? But, well, we've talked for a long time. The, the only other thing I was going to say, uh, it's probably more appropriate for the actual show. I wanted to say a little bit about criticism. Versus constructive criticism. Okay. You know, sometimes people don't like the show and sometimes people don't like fill in the blank on the internet and so that they will feel free to say awful things, hateful things, crazy, exaggerated things, because that's what the internet is. It's a place where you can anonymously insult whatever you want or whoever you want and you don't have to spell things correctly. You don't have to spell than with an A. You can just spell it with an E and expect people to understand that. You know, folks. Oh, wait. That was for a different show, too, wasn't it? I have a feeling we're going to have plenty of fodder for future episodes of this. (laughs) Yes. That's something we were talking about just the other day. And we won't talk about it right now. But if you're going to call somebody a fucktard on their own website for a show that they put together in their spare time when they got home from their full-time job for free... Spell fucktard correctly, please. (laughs) I've been Rish Outfield. And I continue to be Big Anklevich. Good night. That Gets My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. But it really shouldn't be.